Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Egyptian. We're back in another episode of 7 Days to Die, Alpha 18.4. Haven't mentioned that in a while. Still version 18.4, hopefully 19 coming soon. Uh, so I have been hard at work for the last 24 hours. Let me give you a very, very quick peek at what we've been doing. A lot of iron going down, a whole bunch of stone. And we have been making forged iron. We have gotten to a few thousand concrete. Well, not a few thousand quite yet, but we are making more over here. Made a little bit of cobblestone. We were able to do a significant amount of gunpowder, which, to be honest, we're not going to need. Because if you notice, we have a decent amount of ammo already. I really do not expect we're going to need more than that for the horde. That being said, uh, it's probably not a bad idea. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're not going to work on that today. So we do have 127 spike traps. I thought we had more than that, actually. There may very well be some just kind of hanging out around here somewhere. Oh, I don't see them. Ah, well, that's good enough for now. Cool. So let's go ahead and grab a lot of what we have here. Concrete. I think we're going to need every bit of it. Cobblestone. Why not? There are some things that we're going to have to do with that as well. So today is going to be a big upgrade day. Um, actually, I need some bars as well. We're going to need... You know what? We're going to go ahead and take all of this forged iron here. Let's make some wood bars. Let's do... I don't know. 50. Cool. So for the plan for today, we're going to upgrade our little jungle gym out here. A little zombie jungle gym for the Horde Knight. And I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to work out really well. As you guys can see, I also... Man, that's a bright-ass sun. Holy moly. I also uh, went ahead and made a generator bank and a battery bank. Not 100% sure if we're going to be able to get it to work. Because to be quite honest, I have never really experimented with it. Why? Why are we doing that? Well, here you go. Assuming that all the zombies are going to make their way over here as they are supposed to... We are going to need it. Look at that. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So I did go ahead and add a couple little buffs here. Um, so that they can't jump immediately up. Eh, maybe these walls they can. Hmm. Well, we'll add a couple more. So we've kind of uh, amped it up a little bit. I actually did make it a little bit longer as well. So, as you, yeah, you can probably see why we're going to need as much concrete as possible. This may not even be enough. Uh, we're probably going to need more cobblestone as well. Either that or I can knock these out and just go straight to concrete using these blocks here. Speaking of these blocks, I kind of damaged one of them here. We're going to go ahead and knock this bad boy out here. I think that's a better option than repairing it with forged iron, which is not happening. Cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and repair or upgrade as much of this as humanly possible. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through that so you guys don't have to sit and watch it all. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that. And just like that, we have eaten through 1,400. Oh, wow. That went so much faster than I thought it would. Holy crap. Okay. So some of these we're going to have to just deal with cobblestone being the basis for. So we'll go ahead and upgrade a few of these as well. Man, I hate those little things. Cool. So pretty much everything that we uh, have here is stone now, which is... Pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. It looks like it's going to be pretty strong. I wouldn't mind upgrading some... Man, that sun is so bright here. Jeez. So, I think this is going to turn out really well. That's not even with our flashlight on, either. That's nuts. Okay, so what I want to do now... And we can do some more upgrading if the need arises. But for now, I want to put spikes in each one of these little blank areas here and then probably a couple of them throughout the top. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out here. Ow. 
skipped one. Now, hopefully this doesn't deter them from using this little route here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these as well. Yeah, hopefully they still use this. Now, I know it's not going to slow them down as much because they're not going to fall down and have to jump up, fall down and have to jump up. But that's okay. We got some blade traps and things waiting for them. I could put another blade trap here. That's okay. We'll go ahead and leave that as is. We'll put another one of these little guys right here. And then we'll probably end up throwing some of these just kind of around the sides. Kind of deter them from breaking my pillar here. Hopefully I don't fall on them one day. That would be pretty terrible. Then we can probably go ahead and protect the base of our tower here by putting them more than one out. Very cool. Now that does make it a little bit more difficult for us, but you know, it is what it is. It'll be fine. It'll be good, good, good. We should probably do a little protection on here as well. Hmm, can't put it there. Well, that's annoying. And there you go. Just like that, we are pretty well protected, and we still have 70 of these to do whatever the hell we please with them. I guess I'll throw a couple more along the top here. Again, hopefully this doesn't deter them from using this route. If it does, our plan kind of went to crap. But on the other hand, if this does work, this is really going to mess some zombies up. I don't even know if they'll get past the second turn. Let's give ourselves a little path here. I think we can afford to throw a couple more in the mix. Just in case they can jump up to the sides here. We can go ahead and put some deterrent. Even if they are going to jump up, well, they're going to pay for it. Cool. So I think that is about it for now. Hopefully, uh, maybe we get some visitors and we can test this out. But for now, I think that is pretty good. We're going to need to use our wiring tool. Of course, I have no way to get up there now. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Let's make a little temporary passage. Hopefully remember to take it down. There we go. And you know what? Even though this will probably hurt us, let's go ahead. Nope, we're going to have to go to advanced rotation here. Bam! Just like that. No jumping up here. No, no, no. Very cool. Alright, so we're going to have to get our wire tool out here. Couldn't speak English there for a minute. I'm sure you guys are used to that by now. Ow! Look at that. I already jumped on him. Wow, that had to have hurt quite a bit. Okay. Well, that sucks. Something tells me I didn't think this through well enough. That's okay. So we want to put a little bit of protection here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these bad boys out. We're going to go ahead and throw one. Uh, yeah, we'll throw one here, here, here. This is lining up perfectly. All right, and we are going to... Go ahead and upgrade these. This is what we made all the forged iron for. Something tells me I should make this ladder a little bit taller. But you know what? For now, I can just put a little safety block. That works pretty well. Very nice. 
All right, I want to go ahead and upgrade these as well. Hopefully this will protect us at least a little bit from vomit, projectiles, things like that. Now one thing that we haven't done well is the base of the house has not been upgraded. So we're going to go ahead and push forward with what we've got currently. And if the house gets really messed up and we are in danger of the base collapsing, obviously we're going to have to look at that in the near future. We should have some cobblestone. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these as well. There we go. Ah, what the hell. All right. Let's go ahead and get these going. And I do want to upgrade the outsides. It looks like they're already upgraded. Interesting. Ah, much easier. Much easier. Nice. We're looking pretty good. All right. We should probably upgrade at least the exteriors of this floor. And I think we need to do a little bit of work on the catwalk as well. Very nice. Looking nice and strong here. I like it. I like it a lot. So one thing that we could do is put solid blocks all the way down to the ground. That would probably help ensure that our... Ow! Damn it. That would probably help to ensure that uh, our base stays... I don't know, though. We are kind of floating there with not much going on. Let's go take a look and see if we can see anything. That's a little dark. We can have a little light going. Let's see what we see here. The last thing that we want to do is make this crazy awesome fortified base. And then the whole damn thing collapses. Well, this looks like it's pretty easy to upgrade here. Let's go ahead and upgrade this so that we know what's what here. Let's throw these here and upgrade. Ooh, not a lot of options for that room. Hmm. Where is that? Is that our basement? I'm very confused about that. I don't think so. Well, what we can do is just continue this one up right here. And if we upgrade both of these, that should help with the stability there. Very nice. I think that'll be just fine for now, at least. I sure would like to upgrade some of the other stuff, though. Let's knock a little bit of this out here. Just see what we're working with. Man, if this collapsed right now, I would be supremely pissed off. Okay, so let's not fall here. This is our base, so this is where we would want some... Fortification right here. Yeah, that makes sense. Do we have enough concrete? We do not. Let's run downstairs real quick and see if we have any available. Oh, look at that. We do have some available and we do have the means to be able to craft a little bit more. Not very much. We're going to have to go out and get some more rock for that. How much can we make? Only 100 more. Go ahead and do 50 in each, in case we need it quickly. Very nice. We should upgrade this as well. But I don't think anybody's ever going to come down here, so I think we'll be just fine with that. This is, uh, this is turning out pretty nice. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. We already upgraded these, right? Hell, I don't even know. Let's see. Yes, we did. 2,500. 
and I think that is just fine. Uh, oh hell, this isn't where I wanted to go. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and get this upgraded here. At least to a level 1 concrete. Kidding me? Can't do anything there? Problem solved. So now we need to go back downstairs, find out where we upgraded this guy at. There's a random light. I should probably take that apart. Where is it? Where is it? You know, come to think of it, I guess since this little shaft that we have here is pretty solid, we do have a nice foundation below us. So that should be pretty good. How much? Uh, 792. Yeah, we'll throw a little level 1 in here as well. Very cool. I think that was all of them. Oh, nope. A couple more. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so now we need to get for our last portion here. Our little wired tool. Uh, let's go ahead and keep those out just in case we need them. I think we are going to. We need to get back up here for now. Hopefully this doesn't fall apart. Yeah, we'll just stay over here. Okay, let's try this out. Full disclosure, I have never really worked with these things before. So we're going to just see what we can do. And then the little chest here, I put just so I can bring gasoline. Things like that up here. Ammo, possibly. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, I do have two engines in this one, and for this one, I did put four batteries. Not the most power, but it's going to be more than enough to run what we need it to run. I guess before we start doing some wire, we are going to need some switches. Now, I know you can either use switches or you can use the sensors. Where the hell do we want to put these? I kind of want to see the wires. Hmm. How come I can't put it here? Is it because of this little wood frame? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's go ahead and knock this little wood frame out here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why. There you go. So how about we throw one there? Let's get a couple frames here. And let's try to put one on this far side. Very nice. Do we need both of them is the question. Battery bank. I guess the battery bank is kind of useless though, right? Because you have to recharge the battery bank. I guess I could recharge the battery bank with the generator. But if you're going to do that, then what's the point? Why not just use the generator? We'll see if the generator has enough power to run them both. If it does, awesome. If not, well, yeah. So let's go ahead and there we go. Well, shit, if we're going to do it with just one, then we don't need two switches. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Can we even do it like that? Yeah, we can. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do it for now, just for aesthetic purposes. And then if we need to adjust it, we can. 
Um, okay, so we got that taken care of. This is already a level two. So we could put the wires there. Or we could hide them a little bit. about one here and one here yep and then that might very well be enough but just for shits and giggles we will throw another one hmm I don't want them to be able to beat it up let's just see what we can do with what, what we have currently okay so let's go back up here go ahead and grab this connection here and throw it down to where's it at here I said <clears throat> I said here no not letting me too far that's too far really well that's interesting Looks like we might have to put one here and here. I wonder if that's going to be too far. I might have to make a couple more of these. That's pretty disappointing. All right, now let's do the same thing for the other side here. Yeah, we're definitely going to need one more switch for sure. No doubt about it. Okay, so we got that switch done. So what I really wanted to see was, I wanted to see the wires coming out from there. I thought it would look pretty cool, and I still think that it does. Wait a minute. Yeah, I still think it looks pretty cool. I don't really love the wires here, but... Eh, we'll deal with it. I wanted these to be back as far as possible so that they're not getting vomited on. Cool, so let's go ahead and grab this connection here and let's throw it down to this guy. And let's grab this connection here. And throw it down to this guy. No, nah, we're going to have to throw our other switch down real quick. I was going to say, so this doesn't isn't as hard as it seems, but we haven't proved that it's working yet either. So let's go ahead and hold off judgment real quick. Uh, where do we want to put... Well, you know what? Let's see if... Damn, I don't think that's going to work. Let's see if we can throw it like here. Hopefully that's not too far. Can we grab it from here? Hey, we can. Nice. Is that good? It looks like it's good. And then from here to here. Come on, don't be red. Yay, look at that. Very nice. So now we just need to make sure all these switches are on here. And test it out. Okay, so I went ahead and got some gasoline downstairs. So we'll go ahead and refuel this a couple times. Takes a thousand, so it looks like we have plenty. We'll go ahead and drop... A 10,000 stack and 5,000 there. Let's see. Do we have everything turned on? I don't know. This says power 3 watts, max output 100 watts. We're only doing 3 watts? Oh no. We're going to need more engines. How do we turn these things on? That's off. Oh no. That's on. Okay. Okay, so that's working. Maybe I'm looking at that power wrong. Whoops. Sorry, little wood frame. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and take those out. Do we have this one on? Where's it at? Switch it off so that one's on. Switch it off so that one's on. And I guess we're going to have to get a little bit closer to this one. Switch it on. 
So, what else do we have? That one looks like it might be off. Okay. And on. It looks like they're both spinning, guys. Looks like that might have been a success. Very cool. Look at that. Let's go up here and get a final look at our creation here. Don't chop my head off, please. Hmm. Eh, we'll use our little staircase. Ooh, I think that might chop my head off. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll get in our little fortified area. There it is. Let's get a nice clean look. Very nice. I hope this works out. I really, 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 really do. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Well, I wanted to do some looting today, guys, but we're already pushing uh, well over 30 minutes now. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. This is day number 34. The plan as of right now is the very next video is going to be Horde Night. So I'll spend the next day and, and some change grinding and just collecting some more resources. And this, that, and the other. You know how the game goes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. So if you guys do want another episode in between Horde Night, let me know. We can always go out and do some looting. There's some pretty cool areas that I've seen. Uh, we can make a trader run or whatever the case may be. So let me know what you guys want because ultimately that is all that matters. But that's going to be it for today. My name is Egyptian. Thanks for coming and joining me. Uh, yeah. Hit the like button if you like the content. Hit subscribe if you are ready for the Horde Night. And that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.